Hi, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And it is a very bright day here in my craft room. So I'm hoping I can get the lighting correct. Um, we'll see. I'm coming to you face to face for just a few minutes before I flip my camera around uh, because I'm starting something new today. It is October, end of October, which means, of course, our thoughts are starting to move to Christmas. And so I am in the process now of changing over my craft room to Christmas. I, okay, backstory. I don't have enough room in my dresser for both my t-shirts and my sweatshirts. Just not enough room, not enough drawer space. So every fall and every spring, I do a switch over. And I have just recently switched over, obviously, to winter things here. But I, uh, about, around about May or so, May or June, I was really running out of room in the craft room. Um, I have an entire drawer that was dedicated to Christmas stuff, and it was overflowing everywhere. And every time I wanted to do anything, I had to move Christmas out of the way. Something, it was just a mess. So... I binned it. I said, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing with my Christmas stuff that I do with my sweatshirts. I'm going to put it all away in a great big bin and then I will get it out when Christmas time comes and I will, it'll be like going to the craft store. I don't remember, remember what's in there. So we'll find out. All right. So I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to switch things around so that you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to un- I'm going to open up my craft bin for Christmas. You ready? Let's go. All right. So here is my Christmas craft bin. Yes, I know it's blue. It's not. It should be green or red or something of that sort. It is not. On top of it, these are the things that I pulled out before in order to make this particular journal when I was looking just for some things to put. I know I did it here somewhere. There it is when I was looking to do that page. This is going to be a Christmas journal. And I just had gone into the bin and grabbed a few things and that's what came out. So let's open this bin and find the treasures within. Look at them all. Look at all that stuff. I've got paper packs over here. I have, looks like cloth. Oh my glory. I am going to go ahead and mount you, and then we're going to go through this whole bin. I'm going to pull everything out, and we're going to organize. You ready? It's going to be a ride. Okay, I have you way high up so that you can see pretty much my whole craft table. Um, and I apologize for the drone that you may end up hearing in the background. That would be the fact that... Like I, I, those of you who have watched me before, you know that I live across the street from a park, one of the town parks, and they mow every Monday and every Thursday. It rained all day yesterday, and so of course they're mowing today. It's October. They don't need to keep mowing, but you know, I, it is what it is. You know what? I'm going to put these in here. It's a little bit smaller. I pulled out a bunch of my organizing bins, and this is for these cards. And then I have one here for little pieces that I find. And then I have a couple of extras for other things. So let's pull out what we have. I am going to turn my light on. I have to turn. Does that help at all? Is that? I'm told you my lighting is going to be really goofy today. Because if I put the shade up to get the natural light in, when the sun comes in, it glares off of everything. So let's start with this pile. These are some fabric scraps. Where do I want to put that? Put the fabric scraps in there. I've got a couple of different kinds of fabric scraps. I think I'm going to keep those there. These are different fabrics that I can use to make covers with. And these are two covers. Two covers? Three covers. Three covers that I have already made. So I have this one, which will go this way, I think. Maybe that way. I don't know. But I have that one. I have this one which folds this way with the green on it and it has a green belly band in it. 
I made these over the summer and then I have this one with a white belly band in the middle of it. So I have three covers ready to go. Those will be good. So at this point, I'm just going to set the fabric on the floor off to the side. I don't know that I need to make any more fabric covers. With three of them, it's gonna be enough to keep me occupied for a while. Uh, but I am gonna keep out the fabric, oops, fabric swatches. I have a little bit of Christmas ribbon here that has come out. And I have this great big bag. Tis the season, fa la la, that I'm probably going to cover up. I may end up making a cover out of it, but it's ripped up here in the top, so it's not going to be good as a bag anymore. I'm gonna put that down with the fabric to be used that way. I have a stencil. I have a bunch of stuff here I'm trying to gather together. Okay, so I have some wrapping paper that will be good for journal pages. I have a little angel that'll be good for a cover. I'm putting all my cover stuff in there. I have a sticker. Where do I want to put my stickers? I think I want to get another tray out here for stickers. That's for stickers. These are little sayings, those are stickers. This, very quickly, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I'm just gonna cut that down a little bit so it fits better. That's gonna be some fussy cutting that I need to do. So I'm gonna put that over there so I know I need to do fussy cutting. What else do I have here? I have more wrapping paper. Just bits and pieces of wrapping paper. This is a placemat, actually is a bunch of placemats here and those would make really nice covers, okay? I am set for covers. I have enough stuff here to make covers, Christmas covers galore. And my plan is to, and more wrapping paper. Ooh, what's this, what's this, what's this? A doily. Ooh, I like that. I've got how many doilies in there? There's one, there's only two doilies in there. I'm gonna take them right out of the packaging put the packaging down there um, because these will end up I'm, I'm starting to make a pile of stuff to go into that's ready for signatures so that can go right there ready for signatures this very cool pin on a little bit of sari silk that'll make a nice closure so this is this is my cover stuff over here I have some stamps be glad, Merry Christmas, joyful. And then I have a window Christmas stamp. Um, I'm just gonna make a pile of stamps at this point until I figure out where I wanna keep them. More stamps. These are houses, home for the season. Just some Christmas sentiments. It's amazing what you find that you have collected more Christmas paper. Oh my glory. I need to like wrap Christmas press. Ah, oh, Mickey. A little Christmas Mickey. I like Christmas. I like Mickey. Mickey's one of my favorite characters. And more Christmas paper. I think I've got enough pieces of Christmas paper here that I could probably wrap most of my Christmas presents this year. I may just take that all right out of there and go wrap Christmas presents. What do I have here? Okay, I have some small pieces of fabric here that is Christmas in that's stuck there in design okay I'm going to put that down with my cover fabrics these are little pieces of paper that will be great for ephemera they're stuck to each other I think they were samples okay they were samples at one point and they'll be nice little pieces. So we'll put those in there. What do we have here? I have some more Christmas stamps. That's from the American Heart. This is just, I don't know what that, this just seems to be a piece of paper. Um, these are nice, big, good, heavy papers that will be good for, uh, signatures. This was a piece that I played around with at one point. 
Yeah, that'll make a nice signature. That's more paper. Oh, that's just a cool, that might make a nice signature. Now, this is craft fabric that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and it's just little strips. So I'm going to put that there to use as little strips. So I'm going to throw this in my washi. This is a way to make one of those little ornaments. I'm not going to probably make the ornament, but I might snitch the washi. We have some Christmas napkins here. Let's set those here. More paper. Although these are nice little strips. So we're going to put the strips right in here. Because those we'll just grab from and use them as we go. Just a little pre-folded Christmas thingy. Oh my glory, there is so much Christmas stuff in here. Let me pull this whole pile out. So I have Christmas tissue paper, lots of different kinds of Christmas tissue paper. This is, says Merry Christmas, so that's some fussy cutting. Put that over here. This is paper that can be used. This is computer paper and other pieces of paper that can be used in a signature. There's a card type. There's another piece of card. These are real cards that I have just the front of. We're going to put those over there. But that's all signature stuff. These are stickers. I think these stickers came primarily from current those are gift card stickers. We're going to take those right out because when I wrap presents, those are definitely going to be needed there. More of the regular cards. Okay. Stickers go up there. This is a cool Christmas coloring book that I got, and I've taken a couple pages out of here and put them in my signatures. So I'm going to put it with here because that'll be Christmas signature-y stuff. More here. Nothing is organized, as you can tell. And then just a piece of red paper. Of course, because, you know, that's what you do. You just keep red paper. What the heck? Okay, I have found a box. But I don't know if what's in this box. Okay, got little pieces of stuff. Got a couple little pads of paper. I have more cards more cards, some foil, um, okay, where did I put these? Did I have, I don't know what's going in there for now. More cards, that, okay, these are pads of paper. I'm gonna put those there because that's the type of thing that you grab like one of and you use it, okay. I, I hope I'm still on camera for all of this. I haven't been paying attention. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's opened on this end. Let's take that right out of there and see what it is. Okay, it's just a piece of, I think I got this in Happy Mail at one point. Well, it's just a little card to go in here. Oh, that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Um, little gift tags. More pads. Are any of these the same? What are these? Are these the same? Because if they're the same, I may... These are from St. Jude's. Okay, we'll just kind of keep them together for now. Put those over there. More cards. Okay, these are... Definitely card fronts. I'm not organizing, if you notice, by, uh, it's a stamp that goes in there. Uh, I am not organizing by color or anything of that sort. I'm just organizing by type. So, let me set that over there. Then let's go there. Oh, these are sentiments. Um, it's a little card. These are sentiments. They're going, I'm putting my sentiments and my stickers together. Oh, that's really neat. I like that. A little bit of green eyelash lace. Was probably in a Happy Mail. Put that up with my fabric. Now, I know what these are. These, I'm not going to take out of here. They're all 
Christmas charms. I'm gonna leave them in their package for right now because that way they won't get lost. And I'll put those up there. Ah, some glitter stuff. Okay, these, I think I ordered, these are all snowflakes. These are sticker snowflakes. Okay, I have a whole box of this. Oh, there's another napkin. Let's pull the napkin out while you're there. But this looks like an entire box of just stuff. So you know what? We're going to just leave that stuff there. We'll put the card there. This is an envelope that from something... Okay, we're just going to leave all of this stuff here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all of these things that are sayings. And I'm going to put all the sayings in here. So they're all in the same place. And these are all stickers. So sayings and stickers. Ah! Star Wars, anybody? More wrapping paper. Okay, this is a very old tea towel, and it's not worth anything anymore. I was thinking of cutting the Santa out somehow and doing something with the Santa. We'll see. What is in here? Oh, this is a project. This was a book that I took apart, and they are the perfect size for um, paper bag journals. There's so a lot of stuff in here that would be perfect for paper bag journal. So that's a separate project. We're going to keep all of that together and we'll make that at some point. Maybe we'll do it on camera. Okay, this was some stuff that I got at the end of the season. Michaels was doing a bunch of, you know, they give they do the $10 boxes and I bought a couple of the $10 boxes. <sighs> Yeah, I don't, it's pretty not, that's really not my colors. I don't know if I'm going to keep these, but we'll keep them with embellishments at the moment. And this was a pack from a, a, a Happy Mail that I got of all sorts of really cool embellishment type things. That one's stuck, there we go. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to leave these all as embellishments to be put in. These are all cards, so we'll put those with the cards. These are all card, card tops. These are mounted, but I didn't do anything with them yet. Okay, what else do I have in here? Okay, that's part of a card. Oh, this is a, this one, <laughs> let's get blitzened. It's a, a reindeer wine stopper and I put it there to do something with at some point. So we'll figure out what to do with that. Okay, what is this? Oh, another pad of, that's a, a sticky note pad. I don't know what this is. Oh, those are jingle bells. I have a trident, a gum thing of jingle bells. Because, you know, of course I do. More stickers. Okay, we're gonna talk about those in a minute. More stickers, put those up there. Okay, this was a traveler's notebook thing that somebody gave me at one point, sent me in Happy Mail as a way to put together. So I'm gonna set that with my other project because we'll put that together. These are just really cool. I'm gonna show you these. They're not, okay. They're very, very old. They're just little Christmas gift cards. It says Plasticone, 10 by 492, made in USA. And they're little with the little envelopes. Um, I tend to include these in my Christmas journals just to tuck them into a corner somewhere. So we'll put those there to be tucked in. All right, I have another box. But on top of my box, I have more cards. More card, card, cards. Boy, we're gonna do something with cards. Gloria, you go in there. What do we have? Oh, that's really cool. I forgot all about that. That's a very cool ribbon. That'll be a nice embellishment on something. 
Um, oh, I have some washi. All right, that washi goes into this particular container. That's going to be my washi container. These are cutouts. I, you know what? I don't think I'm going to take the stuff out of here either. At the moment, these are half done journal cards. I'm going to leave right there. Can I stick them through them? Will take forever. All right, what do we have here? More fabric. I bought seasonal fabric at the end of the year from clearance from Walmart, and I may or may not use it yet this year. We have some really cool ribbon in here. I have some more charms. Oh, they're buttons. Nativity buttons. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do with these. I have another, oh, a paper clip with a bell on it. I'm going to leave it right in there. I'm going to leave all of that right in there because um, I have an idea for a project for these. So we're going to set that up there, but I will take the ribbon out because otherwise I'll forget that I have it. All right, here we go. This is what I knew. I know what's in here. Oh, Christmas washi. And I'm just going to take all of those. I'm going to put that there. Any Christmas washi that I find will go into these two bins. All right, I got a bookmark. And more tags. They're meant to be gift tags, but aren't they adorable? You know, if you just tuck one of those into a pocket. How could I not? Are these more cards? Those are more cards. You may recall when I made this box, it was a fail. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother linking to it because it was a, just a, it was just a big fail. Okay, more cards. Um, although that's a sentiment. These are card pieces to use. That's a sentiment. Um, these are more card type things. This looks like a comp oh that's. That's adorable. I forgot that I had this. A friend of mine sent me this for Christmas, and I forgot that it was there. It somehow got mixed in with all this stuff. I'm going to take this piece out. It's not specifically Christmas, and I have a journal that I've got in my... That'll go beautifully in there. And then that is really pretty. I'm setting that aside. That doesn't go in. And the same thing with this one. This one is just adorable. That is a completed card. I have some more of these. Oh, aren't these wonderful? Okay. Um, I can go there. All right, what do I have here? Okay, so I have more sentiments, and I'm going to pull all of these out and put them in here. There's a Santa there as well, but that way they're all together and I when I want a sentiment I know so these are just some stamps um, I'm gonna leave them in here so that I know where my stamps are their stamps are all together and my other stamps are over there they're hiding now they're buried these are vintage labels and I bought these and I don't remember where I bought them from but they're vintage labels and then these are some vintage words. I'm going to throw that whole thing right in there. I'm going to put you guys here. Let me see if I can get to my my uh, stamps. Because I want to put all my stamps together. There we go. I don't know where to put it. I, I am running out of room. Look at this. This is just a mess. Okay, so there's my stamps. I have too much Christmas stuff. Look at all this Christmas stuff. I still have stuff in this bin. Can you see now why I said it was taking over my whole room? This was a Kleenex box that I cut up and will use as pieces. More stickers, another napkin, more wrapping paper. Okay, let me find my stickers. That goes with my stickers. Okay, I know what this is. I'm going to show you that in a minute. That is, Those are really cool. Okay, I got more cards, some die cuts, some more 
pads. This is um, a memo pad. You can just put the papers in a thing. Die cuts. Where do I want to put die cuts? I think I want to put those here with those. Okay, let me show you these. So my, my daughter's mother-in-law found this box of stuff up in her attic and she gave me the box and she said, you can't have it all, but take out what you'd like. And I took out a bunch of these. I'm not going to go through them all, but look at these wonderful, wonderful old, old stickers and old cards. Sorry, that's the guy across the street backing up. He's doing up this part of there, but look at how old these are and how wonderful they are. So I'm, yes, I am using some of them in my journals. So as I make my Christmas journals, I'm gonna put them with my stickers um, and in my sticker bin, but those are special. Those get used special. Okay, I got another stamp. Put that with my stamps. These are finished ephemera pieces. And this was another stamp, of course. Um, so this set deck of cards I got from, I don't know, I like that as a template. Um, I got them from a, a thrift store and there, there was not a complete deck. So I've been tucking one of these in every single journal that I get. I tuck in one or two of the little snowmen, just cause they're adorable. What else is in here? Okay, these are some pre-made ephemera pieces. That's, oh, that's a hidden paper clip. Okay, I'm gonna put you here. Got a couple of hidden paper clips. These are, they need to be decorated, but they're ready to go. These are also started journal cards. That's a little bit of, you know, when you need that little bit of red paper. These are just little pieces of paper to use up. Use those pieces of paper up. Okay, that's all just menu. Who knows? We'll throw it in there. These are all Santas. Oh, I see, these are all Santas. Okay, let me pull them all out back. I want all my Santas to go together. Those are, those are not, but okay, come here, Santa. You guys are Santas. So this is a, we'll put the snowmen in with the Santas just so I don't lose them, but these are all Santa pictures. Cause you know, sometimes you gotta do a Santa journal. All right, what do we got? We've got another one of these with season's greetings. That is the start of a journal card. Obviously I started a bunch of stuff and didn't necessarily finish it. Okay, one of the things that I won last year was a stamping up thing and I got a whole bunch of stuff from it. Another stamp. And then I took all that stuff out and I put it around and used it up and this is a cool glassine bag with some very nifty old stuff in it that came from Happy Mail. I want to use that up. Okay, more cards. We'll throw the card up there. Danish Kringle, yeast rolls, coffee Kringle. Yep, those all go there. What do we have here? Oh, we have some. Those are stickers. Stickers go in the stickers. Just some very cool pieces of paper that came from Happy Mail. This is the start of a journal card. I guess I have so many journal cards that have been started and not finished. Look at this, more cards, more Christmas cards. Okay, we can take all the Christmas cards out. And more pads, that goes up there awards one. Oh, that's just that's like a little piece of ephemera to put in something what do I have here some fussy cutting oh I love these stickers these are the coolest old stickers um, and I don't have very many of them left because I've used up a, a number of them 
but I really like them. But they're, they're very Victorian. I have no idea where I got them, but I've had them for years. And so I'm going to definitely be using these up this year, probably. Definitely, probably. How's that for oxymoron? All right. Those go with the stickers. I, there's a little piece of plastic, and I don't know what that's from. Lohawa Rose Air Blooming. We definitely need to have some Christmas music. Okay, you go in my piece here. You go in my piece here. You guys are all going in that scraps of material. Stickers. I don't know where you're going yet. We'll hang on to you. Ta oh, look. Oh, I think these... That's a very, I'm sorry, that one's a goner. That was a, a snowflake that did not weather well. <clears throat> I can't get this out. I don't know what this is. Oh, this was, this was part of the Stampin' Up! Christmas gifting gift to make these little tags. Cool. We'll make those tags up. And looks like the rest of it is in here. So I'm not going to take that out of there. In fact, I'm going to put these things in here so I don't lose them. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to keep that. All right. One more thing. Well, not two more things. More cards. Tall cards. You know, on my pile that's just... Can you see this? Oh, my glory. I have to now figure out how to organize this around the room so that I can do it because what I haven't brought out yet... Okay, fussy cutting needs to be done or used. These, I bought Christmas Noel paper, uh, it's crepe paper. Let me take it out and see what it's like. I bought this at the end of the season last year. Because I thought, oh, that'd be interesting for a page. Oh yeah, it's very thin. I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I don't want to mess it up. Um, it's very, very thin crepe paper that will make an interesting part of the signature. Okay, so I have that, I have this, I have this pad, and these are all partial pads because I've used stuff out of them. I'm going to do a blue and white. You've seen this page because I've the thing that I was using before, trying to make before for Christmas, that's out of there. There's very little left in this one. Uh, oh, that's pretty. I like that. I don't need to go shopping and get the latest Michaels because I still have all these to go through. Once I've gone through all of these, yeah, I'm not done yet. Once I've gone through all these paper packs, then we'll, then maybe next year I can say, yes, you can buy more paper packs. But look at all the paper packs. And of course, an I Spy Christmas, a picture book of riddles that needs, you know, you can go through it and find the different pieces. I don't know that I'm ever going, I don't know how to use that in my books. Oh my glory, people, look at this. How long has that taken me to go through and just pull it out of the bin, let alone figure out places to find, to put them? All right, I am going to, at this point, stop my video and... I'm going to find a place to put all of these things. I'm not going to bore you with it because I have no idea where I want to put anything. This is going to be a project. This is definitely going to be a project. All right. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click like to let YouTube know that you like them. And uh, happy holidays, everybody. Till later. This is Cindy signing off. Okay, just coming on for a brief addendum. I am organized, sort of. Okay, so this is all of the fabric little pieces and little tchotchkes, things that might go on a cover or could be inside the journal. I've put all that together. That's going up underneath there, so it's out of my way. I have these wonderful stencils. Um, 
that are from a kid's thing at one point. And then I had also, these are from a magic towel. I, the kids got magic towels in their, their uh, stockings one year. And I kept these as forms to use as your as uh, stencils. So I have those and those are up there. I have my little project there and then my vintage stickers are here. I have organized all of these pieces of paper that are just uh, paper scraps. They're all there. I took all of the cards and I put them in my Stampin' Up! box. So now it's full. Some of these will make great little journal cards, but right now um, I don't need them. So, and I'm not gonna deal with them right now. So I put them in the box and they're going back in the bin. Also in the bin, I put in all of the, anything that, you, that I would normally use to make a cover is in the bin because I have, are you ready for this? Wait a minute, let me grab the whole thing. Well, first of all, I put all the, the tissue paper in a bag so that it's all together and I don't have to worry about it. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine projects already started here. I've got enough to last me for a while, so I'm not probably going to be making any additional covers. Um, and any that I do make, I can make out of the scrap paper, which I've got right here. Now, I will probably, I will need some signatures for the, the one set of covers there. So I have all of those here. I'm going to go through those. It'll be one of the first things that I do. And then I can get rid of that whole pile and I'll put them over to the side. I wanted to show you this. And this is why I'm not dealing with the Christmas cards. This entire bin is pre-made, pre-finished, already done ephemera that I can just pocket. I can just put into pockets. I can stuff my pockets, plenty of pockets with what's in here. So I don't know that I need to make too much new of that. In here, I put lots of these little pieces that will be used, you know, when you need a little something. So that's that's full of those. This, These are all unfinished pockets and tags and little, you know, you, you put your little journal things. It just needs decorating. You know, I haven't decorated it yet. So that's all there. In fact, those little things should go right in there. Um, so those are to be finished. And then this is more, well, this is primarily words. I have all of those, plus I have all these words that I stamped last year and then haven't done anything with. So I've got all of the, got a whole bunch of words. Those are words. Music is words. And then I just have all of these other little things that will be used. So there we go. I am organized. Um, I am very much looking forward to getting rid of this pile over here. I think you can see it. Um, once I get rid of that pile, I will actually have space to work. Oh, and up on, on I have a set of shelves over here. I don't know if, if I turn that, if you can see it or not. I end up getting my light in the way. I don't know. But I have a set of shelves over here, and I have my stickers and my washi over here. All right. Now I am done, and this is Cindy, ready for Christmas, and signing off.